Tasha Kirby, and I'm right back at you with the Cosmetology Thermal Blow Dry Service. My mannequin is completely undraped, and she is completely undraped because this is where they tell you to prepare your mannequin. And when they tell you to prepare your mannequin, that means you're going to change the drape. We just transitioned from our permanent wave service. Here's how they're going to open up. All scoring has been completed. We will now move to our next section of the examination. The next section of the examination is blow drying and thermal curling service. Please blow dry, wet hair, and complete curls in a section of your choice using a curling urn. You will have 18 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have 11 minutes remaining. You may begin. The first thing you're going to always do, disinfect your table. Disinfect your work area. And the reason why I always say table or station or your work area is because based off of your testing site or the state that you are in, you will not have a chair. You'll be working off your regular workstation. You disinfect, make sure it is completely dry, and make sure it's completely dry. Clean surface. I am now going to sanitize my hands. Sanitize my hands. When I sanitize my hands, I will then go and pick up, sanitize my hands. Before I pick up my bag, remember to lay your Working towel down on your station because you never want to work on the bare station. You then pick up your bag and you begin to lay out all your tools and everything that you need that is inside your inside your bag. Inside your bag. Toss your kit that it came in, and before you touch or drape your mannequin, go ahead, turn on your blow, go ahead and plug up your blow dryer and your curling iron. Make sure your tools are com already plugged up. Make sure that, that they'll come on. Just to double check. Make sure you hit that reset button. Turn it off. Make sure you hit that reset button so it'll come on. Always make sure your urn. And your curling iron and everything and all your tools are on and working. You turn on your curling iron, plug it up. Make sure you have that kicks, make sure it turned on. Make sure you got it set on the right temperature that you need it to be on. Put it on that kickstand. Now, before you touch anything on your table, you know you already have your blow dryer, your, your drape, and your towel. You have your curling iron, your flat iron. I'm sorry, your curling iron. Never use a flat iron. You have your carbon comb, which will be your heat protected comb or your hard rubber comb. And you have your clips and your paddle brush. Now... Before you touch your mannequin, you should always sanitize your hands. Sanitize your hands and then drape your client. Remember I told you when you show up and you have just one towel and you actually need a two? Don't freak out. Or if you dropped one, don't freak out. Take your towel, crisscross it around your client's neck. Because the reason and the purpose for this drape is to always have client protection. Make sure your drape is not touching your client's skin around their neck. Bring it up, wrap around, pull it in nice and tight. Drop that second towel down. Now you have to remember this, if it's on the table, go ahead and move your drape off the table and have it out of your way so you'll be able to work. Bring it down. Now. You're free to work. I'm going to go in, detangle my mannequin hair before I begin to blow dry.
I'm going to blow dry my mannequin. I'm done blow drying. You're gonna throw your trap, your uh, dry your brush in a trash can. You're going to unplug your dryer. You're gonna discard your dryer because remember, you always, always discard everything when you are completely done with it, and you do. You're going to comb the hair straight back. Go ahead, find the high point of the brow, pull out their hair straight back. Keep the hair in one hand. Part it. Clip this hair off. Then you're going to come back, find the high point of that brow again, just the front of it. Bring that straight back, comb that hair over, clip it off, and then you're going to part that hair off where you would have put your very first rod, roller. Part it off. Part it completely out of your way. You want to clip this hair to the side. Clip it on over to the side. Get it completely out of your way. It's clipped. My hair is smooth, combed out. This is how my part look. So I have my section. Now I'm going to turn her to the side. When I turn her to the side, it is so that you can see how you're going to curl that hair. Now, before you pick it up, well, let me rephrase that, comb it out, go ahead and get your hair sectioned and part it. I want you to part that hair straight across. Make sure it is even. Comb that hair straight forward. Drop it down. You're going to then pick up your curling iron. You're going to test it. Put your kickstand down. You're going to
three times. Over directed her away from you at a 180. One, two, three. When I establish that base, that's telling my hair, make sure that kickstand is down. I'm telling my hair where I need this hair to go. I'm going to click, click, click. It's okay if you hold the hair, that hair strand. Make sure that it disappears because you do not want to have a fish hook. Roll down, take your comb, and your comb is going to rest underneath the curling urn because that's going to be considered your safety. Another thing I want to do, want you to see is if you could still see your part in your mannequin's head, that tells me that it's going to be on the base because you can see it. Now I'm still resting. Now I'm going to take my comb and help click, 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 click. And it's going to sit on this base. It is completely on its base that even when I turn it behind, you can still see my line, my part in the head. That's going to allow me to know that it is on my base. And I don't have to do anything else to it. I do not put my curling iron down. I go ahead and I part my next section off, which is going to be my off the base. Off base thermal curl is off the base here's what you want to keep in mind it's off the base this is the base of the hair and i'm going to be off now i need to establish my base so now i'm going to bring it towards my chest towards me one two three then I'm going to come mid shaft of that, of that hair. I'm going to click, 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 click. Remember, you can hold that hair. Help aid that hair around that curling iron if you need to. I'm only using one hand to manipulate my urn. Now I'm going to lay my curling urn on my uh, comb underneath my curling urn. Because again, I'm going for safety. You do not see my scalp at all. You see my comb because it is off the base. Once I do so, I then will click count to 10 or 20 and then you can now click it off, click that curl off and it should sit directly off the base with no aiding. You don't have to aid this curl. It is off the base. So it should be on base, off base. Now I am done. I'm going to unplug my curling iron. Because I am done with it. I'm done with it. I am then going to discard my comb. Because I'm done with that. Here is where it gets different. Because now I need this towel. That's why I always tell my students that I believe in having a second towel. You're going to take your towel. You're going to take it and wrap your entire curling urn around. Because you do not want to leave it out. Then you're going to take your cord and wrap it around to lock your towel in. Whatever you do. Always put your items up because you don't want no reason for your points to be lost. Plus, this is safety. Everything is covered. And now when I toss it in the trash, I don't have to worry about anything. Undrape my mannequin. Undrape my mannequin. Remove the clips out of the mannequin hair. Toss all that in the trash. Take my disinfectant, disinfect my workstation. Remember, I'm leaving nothing on my workstation. I'm disinfecting it, and I'm making sure it's completely dry. Once I do so, 
I then stepped back and I raised my hand and I wait on the Raider to come and give me my grade. That just concludes our blow drying and thermal curling iron service. Remember, there's only two curls. You need an own base. Make sure your part is still seen when you turn it around and see you still be able to see your part. And this is completely off the base. That's what you